My name is Eric Pilgrim with RenderDraw. I wanted to run through an example of RenderDraw interacting with Aptus in real time. We wanted to run through what it would look like to have 3D visualization uh, along with some cinematic transitions between the different product options and attributes that we had within the model. So let's take a look. Or we actually have an App Exchange product that has a 100% native rendering within Salesforce. That allows us to bolt 3D rendering on top of apps like the Aptus CPQ you're going to see here. As part of this, we, we actually just added our component into an additional tab. You can see here, we have a tab man 3D. Wow. Inside of this tab, we actually have our lightning component suite. And that lightning component suite actually allows us to have custom content on this left pane. We call this our context pane. Um, our main rendering window is right here. Uh, and as you can see, we've got, we've got a, a couple options here. So if we wanted to like slice and dice this, take a look at the inside of the server. If we, if we wanted to explode this out, an engineering diagram, we could do so like this and that explodes us out. Effectively, when we make a selection, we can do something on the 3D model. Piece, this is a case color. We actually have a zoom in effect. It's gonna go directly to the case so we can see when we change the color or configuration, what that looks like for the user. So we make a selection here and our camera zooms in. What we wanted to show here is actually the ability to do some uh, real configuration in real time. So we make the selection and we're actually able to go through and uh, change the color of these things a little bit. We can get a lot more involved when it comes to the configuration. We'll show that in a second. Now when we clear the selection, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, zoom out and kind of pan back. We can take a look. We've got now a black case where we had a silver one before. So like uh, when, when they make a selection, for instance, if they want to see some more information based off of that component, uh, let's select these screws. Yeah, so the screw assembly is what we selected based off of that. Uh, click there and then bringing up some information as it relates to that component product. So a lot of a lot of different ways we can interact with 3D within Salesforce. Attribute selection to the product option selections that are made within within the product itself. These attributes reside within the app CVP system. We're able to just do something inside of the 3D model based off of those selections. So like uh, for example this this product option we make the selection on the stand on the power supply. Right now we've got a standard power supply as part of the product option, but when we make a selection here you can see we flew through the product, turned around the camera and focused at where the user should be taking a look. When it comes to like moving the camera in three dimensional space, there's a lot of calculations that need to happen. Uh, the render drop platform takes care of that right, right by default. So what we're about to take a look at is based off of this 3D model that we loaded from that remote server, we're now able to load in an additional model and position that where it should be for our users to see it. So what we're gonna do is click on this advanced 240 volt uh, power supply. When we make that selection, you'll see this is quite a bit different, right? We've got a uh, totally different uh, power supply that was loaded inside here. And, um, we, we had explosions out before, let's go ahead and take a look at that. When we explode this out, this is actually exploding out that component as well. So where we didn't have this before in our initial explosion, we now have this beautiful 3D interactable uh, exploded out power supply unit that was loaded in dynamically based off of that product option selection. So. Uh, the idea is this, this experience can be made customized for every single product that you have. So uh, from, from this, we have the ability to go through and save off the configuration. This saves off the configuration into our uh, standard CPQ workflow. The only thing that really changed is the way that the user interacted. We gave them a better user, inter user experience based off of 3D models that already existed. Uh, we're relating that to the configuration or we're letting the Aptus CPQ system use its own configuration because that's what it's fantastic at. We're doing what we're fantastic at and the user's getting the best of both worlds because they know they're configuring something that's actually buildable out of Aptus CPQ, uh, but they can actually see what they're configuring when, when they're doing that. So this is kind of a base overview of what we can do. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out. Uh, we're at renderdraw.us or find us at renderdraw on LinkedIn. Thank you.